Next stop was Zandvoort, on the chilly sea coast of Holland. And though the beach was nearly deserted, everyone knew decision day was coming up. Who in these old Dutch Grand Prix, which included such great aces of the past as Juan Manuel Fangio, Jack Brabham, and the great Jim Clark. Who would have predicted two turbocharged Renaults up front, Prost on pole, Arnoux beside, and determined to stay there if they chose the right tyres? Watch the back of the grid at the start, and you'll see what happens when a fast starter finds himself at the back. You can see the scarlet Ferrari and the orange and white Alfa Romeo as Giacomelli cuts across. He has no idea Villeneuve is there. The result is good spectacle, and luckily not disaster. Now another look. With Peroni and Tombe having tangled, both Ferraris are out, as Jones now rips by Arnoux. And another absorbing Prost-Jones battle begins. Patrese has had to drop out. And Jones and Prost are now side by side past the pits. Lafitte walks away, picking up his own garbage. What happened? Reuton decided to try and take Lafitte on the inside. There was no room, and Jacques was not about to yield. A lap later, as Jones pressures Prost still further, Giacomelli has his own second shunt. Jones blows by Prost by dint of taking a risky route behind number four, Alboreto. But like the smart driver he is, Prost waits to fight another day, using Alboreto again as the lever. Prost recaptures the lead. Not that the duel ended there. It went on. And on. Borgard's tyres are appalling, but Jones's are going fast. And while Prost advances in state, Piquet takes advantage of the traffic to slip by Jones. Six points from his second place, Piquet is now even with Reutemann. As the Renault mechanics celebrate another Prost victory. Unlike Michele Alvareto, who has to hitch a ride home, both Prost and Jones seem satisfied 